Welcome everyone. We are at Elvado Lake State Park. This is not the state park. This is the day use area at the dam. Mrs. C and I decided to come down here and do a little uh, exploring and photography and before we head back up to the camp, plug in, get the air conditioner going, cool off, make some lunch because it's hot here, folks. But this is the uh, dam day use area, which is also part of the state park. The lake is low, low, low. They're in a serious drought out here in New Mexico, folks. We are going to climb back in Moby now and head back to the campground, plug in the air conditioner, and make some lunch. And we'll see y'all somewhere in a day or two. We're here for several days, so we're going to see what we can see. Catch y'all later. Bye. Good morning, folks. It is... Tuesday morning. What are you doing there, Mrs. C? I'm sweeping. Still house cleaning. It is Tuesday morning. We have opted to leave El Vado, not because it's uh, less than a nice park, but because it's hotter than Hades here. So we're going to slip up into Colorado and see if we can't find a little altitude and a uh, parking spot for a day or two. We will see y'all from wherever we end up. And uh, Mrs. C, are you ready? Just about. I think we're about ready. So we'll see y'all from wherever we end up. We have decided to take a short lunch break and let the van cool down break somewhere on Highway 160 outside of Pagosa Springs in Colorado after almost a month in the desert. This is a welcome change. Welcome friends from Pass Creek Road, a dispersed camping site near um, South something, I'll look it up later, Colorado. We left New Mexico, it was just too dang hot. And Mrs. C is in there taking her afternoon siesta. So I thought I would come out and do a little exploring. So why don't y'all come along with me and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Let's go see what's up here. This is a national forest um, camping area, dispersed camping area. And it's pretty nice. We set up here for, we'll be here a few days probably. We're debating on whether we want to go to Sacred White Shell Mountain tomorrow or if we just want to hang out here. That spot where that fifth wheel is at is prime territory right there. But we like where we're at too. We'll go ahead and stroll up to the top of this hill and see what's up here. It may not be a thing up here. And that's okay too. Then again, we might walk up to a view like this. And water. Oh my. Thinking I might head down the road and cut through this field and see if I can get over here to that ledge. It's a little bit too steep for me to try to go down here. Well, I may go over there and try to get off to get some pictures off of that bluff. But first we're going to walk up some more of this hill and see what's up here. Yeah, that's a pretty awesome view right there. 
I'm gonna head back down and I think I'll go down the road and try to walk over there. So now we're gonna walk down the hill. Come along with me. Flower photography, time to move on. Go back up the hill, and we'll go down the road. See what we can see. So, this road, I think it's 309 or something like that. I'll look to make sure. It goes down to a full on campground out here at the end but there are dispersed camping spots all along the road. There's ours. This is part of our view. Way over there in the distance is our home sweet home away from home. I'm trying to get out here in this bluff. See what I can see. You see we're kind of close to the highway. There's some Jurassic animal dung out here. Not sure what it might be. I noticed a little bit over by the campground, but that's okay. I think we're getting closer. We were up there, up there up there earlier we've made our way around we can't see the van from here let's go see what we can see and I am up here enjoying walk on down this ridge over here to this see what we can see over here I took a few pictures I don't have my good camera with me I had to leave it in the car to this and be really careful Mrs. C would never forgive me if I fell off a cliff without her around. There's that. If you look over there, you can barely see the top of Moby. But it's hard staying here, I'm telling you. <laughs> Pretty amazing camping location. Like I said, if you can handle the road noise, which we don't have a problem with, it is beautiful. down here. We'll cut back through that little valley area here. Go back to the road. Oh my. There's a little waterfall down there folks. Oh, let's 
walk over us. Go down through here. I know y'all miss Mrs. C in my video, and I apologize, but look here in this little aspen, little aspen grove, and see what. See what's up here. place to pitch a tent as long as you don't sleepwalk what do y'all think over here and bring it back around and we will head back to see which way we want to go to get out of here let's see what's down here Okay, folks, I can do a pasture. Actually, it's not a pasture. I'm gonna cut through here. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to stay on the dirt, stay away from the vegetation as much as possible. So, if the video looks like I'm weaving in and out a lot of my stuff, that's because I am. I'm dodging the, dodging the, Vegetation. Ooh, I'm almost back to the road. And staying on the dirt. Alright. I made it back. Heading back to the van. See y'all from there. Here we are. Uh, Catch y'all from there. Bye.